All right, hey guys, Josiah here from easycaters.com. Today I wanted to do a quick tutorial video. And to start out, you, you may think the title of today's video is a little bit misleading, since in fact Thinkorswim does not actually have a chart measurement tool. But it's not really, because uh, the nice guys over at Thinkorswim actually did leave us uh, kind of a nice little Easter egg uh, to find that pretty much accomplishes the same thing as a measurement tool. And because of that, I wanted to go ahead and uh, do this video to uh, show that to any of you guys and gals who uh, didn't know this functionality existed in the platform. So I'm going to go over here to Thinkorswim. And um, so say I want to, uh, maybe I'm watching this pull back here, and I want to buy on a break over this red candle. And I want to know... Um, perhaps what my risk to reward would be uh, or what what price I would need to, to sell at to get a two to one risk to reward. Well, what I can do is come down here to the line drawing tool, the trend line tool, click that. Uh, there's another way to do that which is to just click your uh, scroll wheel which is your third mouse button and it will automatically pull up all your drawing tools right here. So you choose the trend line tool and then you can click uh, at the top of that entry candle, let me zoom in here, and drag down to the bottom of where you might place your stop. And you'll notice here this little box that pops up and that shows you several different things. It shows you the number of days that have transpired, hours that have transpired between those two points. Uh, as well as the minutes, and so it tells you this is 32 minutes of uh, you know horizontal chart movement, and then it says that it's touching two bars. Uh, it has the descent uh, or percent change from the first point to the second point is negative 0.34 percent, and it has changed negative um, nine dollars and five cents. It also tells you the angle of that movement, the angle of the trend line, so you can uh, compare different angles to each other in the same uh, scaling and so forth. So anyway, we know that this is a $9 stop, and so we know that to get 2 to 1, we would need to get $18 of positive movement. So we can then turn the drawing tool up and pull it up to a point on the chart where we reach $18 of positive movement, and we can see over on the over here on the scaling what price that would be at. And so at $18 uh, approximately, that would need to be $26.98 in the, uh, and 58 cents in this particular instance. So and that uh, so this gives you a way of uh, of measuring you know uh, distances on a chart uh, in in terms of bars, in terms of minutes. Uh, hours and so forth, and it, it gives you a nice way of, of measuring percent changes as well as price changes for absolute price values. Um, but so that gives you a way of, of gauging a trade's attractiveness based on risk to reward. And uh, there's actually, you know, an, e an even better way to do this um, that will allow you to. Uh, not only measure different you know, you know random distances on the chart but also to uh, gauge entries stops and targets uh, and get those prices automatically um, and that would be the thinkorswim retracement tool um, now you see most people use the retracement tool to find levels that uh, a stock may pull back to um, you know, in, in a pullback before continuing. But did you know you can actually use it to plot any multiple of any range on a chart? So if you, uh, if you always want, say, a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio, you can actually set the retracement tool to show you that 200% mark, that 2, you know, 2 times the risk, um, where you would need to take target at to keep that good risk to reward ratio going. And uh, 
so it, and once you do that, it will actually tell you what the entry price needs to be, what the stop price needs to be, and what the target price needs to be. And so I'm going to demonstrate that real quick over here on the chart. So uh, you know, this is probably not the best chart to use for an example, but um, <clears throat> say so we got this base here. Maybe we want to buy on a break out of this base pattern. Uh, we'll say we'll buy over the top of this candle. So what you can do is actually click the top of that candle where you would theoretically be buying at on a breakout and drag down to where you would be theoretically placing your stop and click. And so that places uh, a retracement uh, a drawing on the chart and uh, it shows you where the entry price would be and tells you what that price is right here. And it tells you what the stop price would be and then it plots, uh, it can plot whatever levels up here that you want. So I have this already customized here but you can actually uh, right click on it and choose edit properties and come over here and tell it what multiples of the range that you want it to plot. So I have it to, uh, plotting the 100% mark, 200, 300, and 400% marks. And I have the, the different retracements uh, for Fibonacci's turned off right now, but uh, you can re-enable those if you like. I just have the 50% mark left on there, uh, as you can see here. But anyway, so uh, you know that might give you a good place to trail your stop to uh, as the trade progresses. And so you can see here that this trade got to three R's pretty easily, three times the risk, uh, or excuse me, two times the risk, 300% uh, of the uh, above the stop. And um, so this gives you a quick way of uh, gauging the relative distances on a chart and, and finding those prices that you want based on how much uh, movement you're giving it as a, a stop size and so forth. So anyway, uh, I, uh, these, these are pretty good tools. Uh, you know, Thinkorswim doesn't have, like I said, it doesn't have a built-in measurement tool per se, but... Um, it does have these a uh, couple of nice little uh, workaround tools that you can use to gauge risk to reward and find your entry stops and targets and kind of um, get a little bit more consistent in your trading that way. Now, if you want a, a kind of a more full featured way to size your positions and so forth, you know, and plot your entries, stops and targets, um, and kind of to manage risk in a more consistent way, I would uh, recommend you check out. Um, my custom thinkorswim position sizer. Uh, this essentially allows you to uh, set a maximum risk per trade, uh, how much you want to uh, you know, take, the maximum amount you want to lose if you take a loss, and then it calculates exactly how many shares or contracts that you'll need to buy in order to stay within that limit. Uh, and then it'll plot your uh, what your risk to reward is, uh, it tells you your you know, entry stop and target prices, and uh, you know, it tells you the percentages and so forth. So you might check that out if you're interested in having kind of a more full featured uh, and, and, and more consistent way to manage the, the, the risk in trading. But for just the quick one-off kind of calculations, I think the, um, the Thinkorswim uh, drawing tools get you, you know, get you started in the right direction and uh, started managing your trades correctly uh, as a professional trader should. Uh, so guys, I hope that helps. Um, if you have any questions for me, uh, leave me a comment below. If you find these videos valuable, please uh, consider liking and subscribing. And uh, as always, thank you and we'll talk to you next time.